Let's view the results on the atrium model that we ran in a previous video. Again, we started in Revit, launched to CF Design, and simulated a uh, displacement ventilation study here. So, start out in the review tab in the summary file. We can pull out the flow and thermal distribution at each of the inlets and outlets mass flow, volume flow, temperature, etc. After that, I'll typically jump to results here, this bottom tab. And <clears throat> while we're in the in the global settings, we can hold down shift to control and probe anywhere on the model. And down here in the corner, you can see this instantaneous velocity value, whatever the scale is set to. My first move is always to just drop in a cut plane. And I'll change my scale a little bit to make it, make it a little more obvious. Um, and also, I'm sure all you out there are more interested in feet per minute, so let's switch over to that as well. Again, mix and match units however you want. So now we're looking at a cut plane that shows the flow velocity through the space, right? And I can grab this shift control and, and left mouse and just drag that through the space to really, you know, dynamically interact with the model. I can also use shift control and right click or right mouse to, to rotate that, pull that through, maybe see some areas where we're impinging you know, two flow streams together. Then when I'm ready to reset that, I'll just come back in here and, yeah, one of these standard X, Y, or Z, there we go, orientations. Okay, my next step here typically will be looking at flow vectors. Okay, so under appearance, we're gonna shift from shade by result over to show vectors. By default, they come in a little bit coarse, so I'm just gonna tighten that down. And now we really start to get, uh, you know, almost like a topo map of, of the flow profile. Uh, if I want to make it a little more obvious in some of the slower regions, right now we can see the, the, the faster regions very easily because these vectors are lengthened by magnitude. So I'm going to make those all the same length, global, vector, enable same length. And again, they're still a little bit tight here, so let's just coarsen those up. And now we can see that swirling action. It's pretty neat. Okay, so now I see magnitude and direction, very important. Uh, typically, after this, I like to go right for the XY plot. I'll bump up the number of increments, you'll see why here in a second, and I'll just plot across the space. You know, I've picked two points here that are important to me. I'm going to shift back here just so you can see that a little bit better. Start over with that plotting. All right, so I'm going to start here. Now you can see those white points since I'm shading my cut plane. And this is going to drop a line from one point to the other. And it's going to show me every point across that line up to 200 increments, right? Those are the divisions per segment I chose. And here again, we can switch up units, feet per minute. We can look at different velocity components. So let's look at the vertical velocity, Z velocity. See what's happening there. Pressure and even temperature if you want to look at thermal comfort. Okay, two more quick ways to look at this. Isosurfaces are great for visualizing clouds of flow. You know, where is the majority of that flow going? So we can change that value. The ISO surface isolates all the air that's moving at a specific speed or that's at a specific pressure, whatever the case may be. So we're going to say two, two feet per minute. And we can see that cloud of flow. And then last but certainly not least, trace particles, a.k.a. streamlines. So I'm just going to drop in a cut plane, align it to one of these doors, and inject essentially a handful of dust or a handful of particles into this space. Okay, so I can zoom out. Maybe we'll spin this around so you can see it a little better and then we can even animate the, the particles through the space with that, uh, that animation button. So that's all for now. Tune back to the next video to see how to make a design change and view that.